guys, we are at the barn and we are gonna ride some horses. I pulled a muscle on my thigh. You pulled a muscle on your thigh? Yeah. You put my uh -oh. thigh it's like, is this gonna be one of those summers, Gabby, where you wear like warm, hot clothes the whole summer? I did that last summer. Yeah, she did it last summer. Do you guys remember she rode in that vest the whole freaking summer? It is nice and thin, but she says that it's nice and warm. It looks so looks so beautiful here, here and peaceful. In summer. In summer. It looks and beautiful here in winter too. So nice. Like, look at all the trees. Look how gorgeous. So we all have carrots today to keep reaffirming that if our horses come to us, we'll always give them treats. Some of you guys were really sad that we didn't have Storm. We didn't bring Storm home and he wanted to come. That was heartbreaking. If you guys had seen it, oh man. The horses aren't here. The horses. The snakes are trying to attack us. You got almost got attacked by a snake. Gabby almost got attacked by a snake. Ghost town, you guys. Absolute ghost town. Right. Look at this beautiful rock wall. Like this just place is gorgeous. Gabby always takes us through the treacherous trail. Yeah, I got stuck on. Yeah, that's cool. It looks like, like a spider. Thing. Oh, oh, this is what you fell on the other time we were here? Just, it was a pointy thing. That was curved like down to the ground. And I was walking really close to a tree. She <laughs> tripped. <laughs> Ripped her boot open and um, fell. So you guys seen. know that I love our chiropractor, our horse chiropractor. She was telling me that there have been studies done, and the biggest, like the best environment for horses, is like places that have rocks and trees and forest and grass and shade. And the best horse herd size is around 20 horses because they can break up and be in like smaller groups within a group so it gives them like all confidence and stuff because they have the security of the big group but if they don't all get along then they have like the ability to to make friends and separate sort of and this place also has like when new horses are coming in and they're still finding their place in the herd they have like fields way over there that the horses can go to and still have all the same amenities as the other herd Anyway, basically what I'm trying to say is that this barn is literally the best place to have horses. Like, it's just genuinely just like living as a horse. Like, our horses live like horses here. And that's a big part of the reason it's hard for me to bring them home. But we will, and we want to. We're just waiting for the right time. I can't take them away from all this until I can make sure that our fencing is safer. You guys know last year, Storm and Finn got into a fight and slid into the fence and then they went running down the road. Remember that video? Limbo. 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 Oh, there's Storm. Oh, Gabby's riding Storm, I think. Yeah, Gabby's riding Storm today. I'm with a tree. I think there's like about 24 horses in this field. Sophie, where's your horse? Oh, there he is. Uh-oh. Trouble. He's going to get Finn. Come on, Finn. Come on. Hurry. They're about to get here. Come on, Finn. I won't let you then take you away from me again. Finn's like, forget it. I'm hungry. That's their friend horse. Why are our horses so shiny and the chestnuts are not that shiny? Oh, they're all shiny right now. They're all super shiny. Uh-oh. Come on, Finn. Come on, Finny boy. Show him the carrot. Finn's defense mechanism is poop. If you come near me, I will poop on you. Ah. Ah. That's it. Yay, we are killing it. I mean, we're not really killing it. We're killing the whole getting them to come to us thing. Yay. I swear their friend was trying to protect them. Let it be said that I treat all of our horses equally. Brought you a carrot too. I went grocery shopping this morning. Bought all new carrots. You're staying. You're having a rest. Rest in those big gorgeous legs of yours. Isn't it nice out? Like not too hot, but not too cold. Just gorgeous. Oh, Finn, I got nothing else. I know, I'm the treat girl. I told him if he runs, then I won't give him a carrot even if I can. 
just like he would stay with me. Of course, but don't I think be, like that, though. But I, I would have given him a tree anyway. I know. Horses don't think that way. You gotta just, you just gotta trick nice them. To, you just gotta be nice to them. Then they won't run away. Yeah. Unless there are horses and they run away to make you exercise. So they know we're fat. <laughs> Sophie says, unless some horses are trying to help us out by running away, because they know we're chubby, so. That's what my horse is, because I So they want to help us now. exercise. But you guys, what Sophie just said is like the real deal. All you gotta do is be kind in life, always. And I struggle sometimes too, like today waiting in the line at Walmart, I was feeling frustrated and struggling. But every time you're kind, you get this amazing feeling inside yourself. You guys know that feeling where you just feel so good? That's the feeling you wanna keep on going. So every time, even when you're frustrated, dig deep and find the kind and all you will get back in life is kind. What is your favorite color of horse? That's the question and of the day. Do you like horses with shoes or without shoes? Nobody likes horses with shoes. No. <laughs> Especially the people that are paying for them. And now suddenly there's a ton of horses out here. Oh, Hi, handsome. You forgive me from yesterday, hey? So some people were saying that they really think that we should at least storm out to a child so that he can work more and be more active and be used more. And I can see where that would be beneficial in some ways, but at the same time, uh, Storm does not like to work more. Storm likes the amount of work that he's doing. And our chiropractor even told us that Storm actually does really well with the amount of uh, level of work he's doing right now. His body does well, he does good. Oh. And so definitely we're not gonna do that right now, but we do have plans for the future, possibly. Uh, once COVID is done and we get situated a little, we have some plans that maybe will help that Storm will be able to be ridden by another little girl. Holy heck, I go through three giant bottles of that stuff every single summer and it costs $100 a bottle. Yeah, I know, it's gross. Did you already groom him? Ugh. Oh, he's licking it. He's like, mmm, so yummy, you have a weird taste, Storm. Also, a lot of people are thinking that Finn's um, thing here is too... Okay, I can fit a fifth. It's too tight. It just sits like that. I don't I can, know why it sits like I can that. Fit a fist, it's just like that fist, it's loose and I don't want to go in there. Like yeah. And the leather's not broken in yet. Yeah. So, like so I don't know. I think most people know that it's fine, mm -hmm. but for yeah. some reason, some people I, think that it's too tight. It's not broken in yet. Mine's the same thing. It's not broken in. Abby's determined to close the gate. Good job. I need the blue sparkly one. Can I, yeah, the gate up over there? Yeah. All right, so. Let, when the arena's closed in. Okay, so Sophie's got her pink. Sophie's falling in love with um, Ogilvy now, and Gabby broke out the yellow saddle pad. I told her yesterday, you gotta break it out. Finney should have a nice rest day after all the jumping you did yesterday, and then Stormy can do whatever. I think so too. Sophie's sending videos to Fiona. We have this new thing there. Okay, so you guys know the Pivo, right? The Pivo? So apparently with the new one or with the new update, I don't know, whatever, um, you can, if you're wearing headphones with the new Pivo, then, then you can send the link. Okay, if you're wearing headphones with the new Pivo, like earpo AirPods in your ears, and you send a link to your instructor, your instructor can watch you ride through your camera and then instruct you, like do voice, send you voice messages, like instruct you through the AirPods. Isn't that insane?
Also, you guys should know that there's a young girl that rides here. We've ridden with her before and she rides Western. And she said that as soon as uh, we get out in June, that she's gonna come and she's gonna give us a Western lesson. And then we are gonna give her an English lesson and we're gonna video it and you guys will get to watch. Really nice young girl, a little bit older than Gabby, a little bit older than Kaylee, I think she's 17. Go! Why is he going so fast? I'll be dreaming about this till the end of the day. We are young, we are free down for the right. Might be over tomorrow, but we got to stay forever. Look at him go! He's feeling it! Good days and bad days with this boy. Some days he likes it, some days he doesn't. Look at this, watch him go forever. See, that's the other thing with Storm. When he wants to, he does it, and when he doesn't want to, he doesn't do it. And, and nothing short of spurs is gonna make him change his mind. That, my friends, is what she loves. Like, she she loves that. At least he moves, like. Storm was probably jealous when we took Tino. I like, he's like, I'm gonna show off. Yeah, he's probably like, Oh, they will not leave me here again. I'll, he ha and he is like that too. That happens every time he gets jealous. He steps it up. Like people say horses don't think like that. But honestly, he has every single time he's gotten jealous. Do you guys remember? He started going fast for the first time after we got Chino. So Finn is not happy about the bugs today. And he's like really tossing his head and saying like, get the bugs off me, even though we sprayed him. And I started scratching his ears. And he literally just melted into my hand and was like, oh, please just keep doing that. Like, look at how relaxed he is. Isn't that funny? Like, he loves his ears scratched. I'm getting scared of this hike. Can I please get on? Yeah, just wait. But imagine, like, all this time wanting your ears scratched and nobody ever scratching your ears. Well, it's bad to let them think of you as a scratching post. It's too true, but he needed them. And he has lots of trees to do. He's on fire. He's like, you will never forget about me again. I love that horse. Like he, he's the day by day horse. Like he's the one that we should, like I told you guys a million times, everybody that's ever owned him before has said he's not, doesn't want to do what I want to do. Every single one of them. He doesn't want to do anything. And so they all sold him. And I promise that we love him and that he's exactly what we need. Like he has so much character, so much, he's funny, he's interesting, he's bad sometimes, he's everything that we need. And when you don't know how to ride like I used to, 
used to. Yeah. And he, he taught me how to ride. He's a babysitter. He's a... Uh, yeah. Oh shoot, He's a good boy, you guys, and we will always love him. It's hard to video in the sun because you can't see anything. And I'm still scratching this horse's head. Like, this is all he wants in life. He needs to pay someone to come scratch. I have never seen a horse like this this much. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Let's see if Storm likes it as much. Okay, he likes it, just not like Finn. He's sweaty, yeah? He likes it, but Finn, like Finn's like, move sweaty. over. Yeah, oh. Hey, watch his head scratch. You don't scratch your head. Off. But Finn, holy heck, this boy just stands here and it's like, do it, do it more. Oh, probably mosquito bites. Mosquito bites, yeah. So, remember, stretch up tall. So, so he's literally in love with his, with this canter. The last couple of days, she's just been in love with him and his soft, smooth canter. So many people complain about Sophie leaning forward, but I feel like she's sitting up so much more than she ever did before. Is it just because she hasn't perfected it yet or are you guys seeing something different? Don't you know that you're beautiful Just the 